Welcome back to Glamour Unfiltered, hosted by me, Josh Smith. And today we're joined by the intergalactic queen herself. Daisy Ridley, how are you? Great, thanks. I'm feeling better now you call me a queen. What do you think you've learned about yourself through going on this amazing journey with Star Wars? I've learned that I'm a sticker. Mm -hmm. I stick at things, yeah. even when things are tough. And I've also learned that I have a really good, um, I don't have a good poker face for when like I'm emotional, but when I'm absolutely terrified mm. doing a stunt, I've learned that I have quite a calm face. We were doing something in the desert that was literally giving me a panic attack. And our stunt coordinator, Eunice, who's hilarious, like, yeah, 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 do, do, do. She's a scout, sorry, anyone from Liverpool. <laughs> and later on I said, Eunice, that was terrifying. She was like, oh, so sorry, like you didn't see that. So I've learned that I have a good calm face, yeah, you've got even when I'm face. terrified. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you lean into your own mental strength in those tough moments? I probably more leaned into the people around me because mm. you just have to trust that your, if your life is in someone else's hands, they're going to keep you safe. Mm. So it's a lot of trust, mm. telling yourself it's going to be okay. And also telling yourself if something does happen, that it it's the right thing. Mm. Because it's, I guess like as well, being in as part of Star Wars is like mm. the most intense thing on the planet it's to be doing. Intense, yeah. Very intense. How have you looked after your own mental well-being while having this level of insane scrutiny on went, you almost? Went to therapy mm -hmm. for a bit, which was great. Because a lot of it was about feeling out of control because I'm quite controlling in that I like to know what's going on and suddenly mm. you're in a situation where you have no idea what's going on. You don't know if people are going to look at you. You don't know if people are going to be somewhere like you don't know to what extent you know your day is gonna go and then in general doing stuff like if I don't want to go out I won't go out mm. if I don't want to see people I won't see people facial massage yeah. all of the things that keep you feeling good what do you mean you learned about yourself the most from going to therapy would you say mm. weirdly that I think that a lot of people have mm. that when you have a lot of like stress or drama um, I remember thinking, what do you fill that space with if you deal with the drama and the stress? Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, you, the therapist was like, well, you did fill it with good things. And I was like, oh, because I think a lot of people assume you have to fill stress with stress, but you don't. You mm. can like deal with the stress and then fill it with good stuff. Yeah, that PMA mantra can get yeah. you through sometimes as yeah. well. It's also like as well, I guess, is it learning that you're your own ally as well? Yeah, and also learning that um, you're the only person that is experiencing your life, yourself. So if you're not having a good time, what is the point? Like mm. you have to almost fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. Force yourself to have a good time and then eventually you'll be like, oh yeah, okay, this is quite enjoyable. Mm. And also like, I guess playing such a strong character as well gives you another level of faith in yourself as well. Have you found that? I think it's less playing her and more being surrounded by very talented people mm. that have worked with a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, I'll listen to what you have to say. Sure, you have an idea, let's try it. So when people are giving you the space to have ideas, you're like, oh yeah, maybe I mm. am like smart and maybe I am talented. All of those things that for the most part, people mm. tend to self-doubt. Have you had a turning point a specific turning point in your self-doubt journey, would you say? Um, yeah, I took six months off before we um, did this one. And it was just a good time to be like, yes, it's all good, I'm supposed to be here. Uh, which is why I think I had the best experience on Rise of Skywalker, because I felt the most confidence. And I mm. felt, even though it was very difficult, I felt the most at ease within myself. Mm. And as well, like, I think it's so great that you're playing this very strong, and we talk about strong female characters mm. all the time, but also find me a woman who isn't strong, right? Exactly. Like, like, come on. We give birth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a lot. Me, not personally, <laughs> yeah. so far, but, but many women. As well, like, it's such a great role for having a strong body image as well, I think, for mm. to show young women that as well, that you can yeah. be, like, strong, it's not about being skinny. What's, like, yeah. what's been your own journey with body image for you? Oh. I think I didn't really have a thing about body image and then you sort of realise that it's, you know, it's more of an issue than mm. I sort of, like a friend of mine had an, a really bad eating disorder at school and then I was sort of more aware of like the need that people have to look like something that they're not. Um, but when I started training with a new company that I train with now, it's all about strength and mobility and mm. stability. And I didn't get ill during filming and I didn't get injured. 
So for me now, that's the most important thing of anything. Like, mm. if you feel good, if you're doing stuff, yeah. If you don't want to run, don't run. Like, if you don't want to go and sweat for an hour every day, don't do it. Just do stuff that makes you feel good. Mm. And work on yourself as well, right? Yeah, because it's also like, if you're a jealous person, you can work on that, smother it with love. If mm. you're an ang angry person, smother it with love. What do you think has been the piece of advice that's got you through those moments where you've doubted yourself? Is there one piece of advice or someone you turn to who's really changed you in that sense? Uh, I think my parents have always said that I'm brave because I'm scared of things, but I do it anyway. So I guess it's that because, um, yeah, for the most part, um, ultimately you have to feel like you can do it in order mm. to do it, so probably that. Is there a time when you've leaned into that bravery and it's um, ultimately like empowered you? I mean, I had to do scuba diving training and I was having a total panic attack at the bottom mm. of the thing and I had to think to myself, it's okay, you're here, there's nothing you can do. Except breathe and be calm. Breathe, breathe mm -hmm. be calm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're amazing. Thank you. And it's so great you've been on this incredible journey. Thank you. And it's ending now. Mm. How do you feel about that? It feels, I currently just feel very tired and like I'm so ready for Christmas yeah. and to go home mm -hmm. and see my family yeah. who I only saw last night for a few hours mm -hmm. and it was sort of diluted with a lot of other people. Um, and then I think come mid-January I'll be like, this is weird now, yeah. what's going mm. on? Mm. What do you think you're going to do to fill that void? Hopefully find another job. Yeah. <laughs> I've been searching. I think you're going to find it babe. I'm like, please, can yeah. someone employ me? Um, what else am I gonna do? Just chill. Yeah. Yeah. And manifest. Let's manifest that job, babes. Yeah, I'm gonna write some stuff down. Yeah. What do I wanna do? What do I wanna achieve? Amazing. Well, congrats. Thank you. Keep slaying it. Thank you. See you in another interview. Namaste. Namaste, <laughs> babes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for another empowering edition of Glamour Unfiltered, hosted by me, Josh Smith. And make sure you subscribe to the Glamour UK channels now for more content such as this. And we'll see you in two weeks for the next edition of Glamour Unfiltered.